Did you know that hashtag transitions on TikTok has over six billion views? If you've ever watched them and been like, oh my God, those are so cool. You need to make one. You need to do this yourself. One, because they're awesome and they look really cool. Two, you can take this editing technique and apply it to other video projects that you're doing. And three, they're really cool and you should just definitely make one. <laughs> Also, they're super popular, and if you make one, you'll probably get a lot of attention. I'm going to show you how to do that. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm Christina. I'm a producer and content strategist with Kapwing. Kapwing is a new video and image editing platform, and we are designed specifically for you. Our whole goal and mission is to create modern solutions for content creators like you. So I'm going to show you how to make three different transitions. We're going to do it in TikTok, filming and editing in TikTok. And then if you want a bit more fine tuned control, it's a lot easier to do it in a video editor that has a lot more space and precision. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Kapwing. If you're filming outside of TikTok, you can do multiple takes all at once and then go see which ones work best together. When I try to do more advanced ones, it saved me a lot of time and an editor lets you get very precise so you can make it extra smooth. Kapwing has a really robust free account and you can make these videos without a watermark and then you can bring them onto your phone and put them up into TikTok and share them there. Okay, just one second. I think there's like something on the screen. Ah, that's better. My professional editing glasses. So I'm gonna show you how to make a hand swipe and a pop and zoom. These are great to string together to make a much larger piece full of little transitions. And then we're going to do the shoe transition, which is really popular. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna give a quick tutorial on filming in TikTok. So if you already know this, go ahead and skip it. To film, press this red button and hold it. When you let go, it'll automatically start a new clip. You can also press and then press it again to stop it. You'll notice how many clips you have up in the top corner where these little blue bars are. If you're happy with the clip, you can hit check. And if you wanna delete your last one, click that little white X. The default length is 15 seconds and that's perfect for us. All right, let's start with a hand swipe. Here are some cool examples. We're gonna do a hand motion that covers our face and we're gonna film it twice, once in each outfit. So you're going to record yourself doing the motion, kind of get your hand up really close, but film yourself for a few seconds beforehand. Now I'm gonna put my jacket on. Now I'm gonna redo that same motion. And think about what your face is gonna say afterward, because it just is a fancy reveal. Now you're gonna go into your editor adjust your clips press and drag the pink ends to trim your shot and you want your first clip to end right as your hand is kind of in the middle of the frame so hit accept then go to this next one and then we want this one to start right as your hand is again in the middle of the frame i didn't film my second clip long enough so what we're going to do the clip needs to be at least half a second let's delete the last clip i try it again Okay, now we're gonna say check yes, and we're going to click this little just clips to edit them down. We wanna edit the second clip so it starts right as your hand. Oh, I don't think I put my hand close enough in the frame. If you cut it where your hand is most covering your face, it'll look smoother. Boom, that looks great. And you're all set to post. Now we're gonna do a pop-in transition. So this is when you get the phone really close to a body part, and then once you move the camera out, you reveal something different. So I'll just go from wear my jacket to not wear my jacket. So first I'm going to film myself. I'm gonna to zoom to the top of my head. Okay, now I'm gonna take my jacket off. We're gonna start zoomed in here, try to be in the same spot. Hit the red check mark, and then we're going to adjust clip. And we want the first clip to end right as it's like really hit, hit in your head. And then we want the second clip right as the footage starts moving again. 
So let's see what those two look together. Cute, it's cute, it's cute. Now we're gonna do the shoe transition. So for this, you're gonna need to make sure you have your camera set kind of far away. Might help to have a friend. You wanna throw your shoe up in the air and then as it's falling, you kick your leg around, they make contact, and then it cuts to another shot where you're in a totally new outfit. So let's give it a try. First, we need to get the song loaded up. So start a new project, click sound up at the top. We want Kismet XIX. To avoid any copyright issues on YouTube, I've just deleted the song, so you're not gonna hear it play. But it's definitely the song for the shoot transition. That's the one. Okay, so when you hit the red check mark, it's gonna just automatically put it in here. So now I'm gonna set my phone up on its little base. And I'm gonna walk into the frame, and then when the beat drops, I'm gonna drop my shoe. You may want to use a timer to get yourself situated before the camera starts. I just trimmed this part out in the editor. I didn't make contact with that one, so we're going to try again. Okay, that one worked. Now I have to change. Now we're gonna edit the clip down. Go to adjust clip, and then we wanna shorten the first clip so that it ends right as the shoe makes contact. Boop, great. And then the second one, we want it to start right as my foot is like in the same spot. Up in the air, okay. Let's see what that looks like. It's so cute! Oh man, I was optimizing the light for my main camera and not my phone. Don't make that mistake. Have the sunlight shine on your face. All right, now I post it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on your phone and in an editor. We're going to recreate the hand swipe. So open up your phone's regular old camera app. I'm gonna start without my jacket on. Put my jacket on. Film as many takes as you want. <laughs> Head to kapwing.com, K-A-P-W-I-N-G. We're gonna say start editing. Start with a blank canvas. TikTok videos need to be nine by 16. Now you need to upload your footage. So go here to upload. Click to access your files and swipe. While this is loading, I'll just let you know that you can export a video up to seven minutes and upload up to 250 megabytes. And with a free account, we will store your files for you for two days so you can come back and edit. You may need to resize it, pull on these little round knobs over here. Now we're going to need to make some cuts. So we have to go into the timeline. So click here for timeline. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna trim off some of the heads and tails and then a big chunk in the middle and we want to make it so that our hand transition point matches up directly in the middle. So there was one, so let's start a little bit before and then right as my hand is like like there. We'll cut the footage right here by saying split and then and you'll see my hand is kind of in a similar place. So like right there looks like it's almost the exact same spot of where my hand was. So we'll say split, delete that, scoot it up. Let's see what those two look like together. Well, that didn't play very smoothly. you can zoom in really, really close and make the cut very seamless. Boom, that's nice. The nice thing about editing in software like this is that you can look through all of your different takes and see which one you like best so you have a lot more flexibility. And here's the final video.
Oh, I have a great tip that might also save some of you guys some time. If you hit record here, record camera only, hit record, and then you can actually film yourself doing all the transitions in your own browser using your webcam. So if we say stop, then your video is going to appear here, and then you just resize it, and then you can edit it like you normally would. Here are a few examples of videos that I've done in Kapoing using this tool. Hey, this is cool. You can go into settings. You could make that a GIF if you wanted. Or you just want this to be... I like to set mine to high, but standard also looks great. And it's just a smaller file. And then say export. It looks great. I'm pretty happy with it. So the best way to get this into TikTok is to open this URL on my phone. So I'll show you how to do that now. I've got an iPhone and I'm using Safari right now. Look in your workspace and find your video. Tap those three dots and then hit download. You can also go into the project and then say download here. And then you may have to go into your files. Everybody's user experience is a bit different. So I went to my phone files, found the video, and then said save video. And that will save it to my photo video album. So open it up there just to check. It's there. We open up TikTok, start a new video project, then click upload. Now, I don't know what your phone settings are, but you may need to give permission um, for, your, for TikTok to have certain access to some of your photos. Pick out a song. I've silenced the sound again, but it's a pretty cool song. And then post it. And that's it, you're done, congratulations. Hit subscribe and watch that video.